Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kids Kitchen Show. We are making kelp noodle salad with some, some shrimp today. This is a special type of noodles. Um, it is made from kelp, and kelp is a type of seaweed. And it's just, it actually looks like regular noodles, um, a little bit more transparent, and it has a really fun consistency. If you've never tried kelp noodles, I think you totally should. It's very much like the mung bean noodles um, in Asian restaurants, or let's see, what else is it like? It's, it's kind of unlike anything else if you've never had either mung bean noodles or kelp noodles. The great thing about kelp noodles is um, it's gluten-free, so if you avoid gluten, it's definitely uh, for you. It has so many vitamins and minerals because kelp grows in the ocean, so it is like, eating part of the ocean. So, plus it's just really yummy. I like the consistency of it. I like it in a salad with other vegetables. It's almost like another vegetable. In fact, kelp is sea vegetable, right? So I just um, emptied it from the container and put it in some hot water just to soften it a little bit. And I'm gonna put that aside. And I peeled some shrimp um, that we will cook first, and then we'll combine the vegetables with um, the kelp noodles and the shrimp, and then just um, just yummy peanut sauce that I don't even have to make. I'm just gonna use it from the bottle. So let's first go make the shrimp. It's just going to be sesame oil that's heating up behind me, shrimp and some garlic and ginger, and a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah, so let's go make the shrimp. Okay, so I'm heating up some chopped garlic and ginger with a little sesame oil and then we'll put in, look at it's nice and brown, we'll put in the shrimp and just stir that around. It's just going to take just a second to cook. But I am going to use up, I still have some of this coconut in here, the garlic sauce. Perfect flavoring. I'll put a little bit of that in there. Right, so the vegetables. I'm actually grating this purple cabbage on the grater. You can also just chop it with your just regular hands and knife. But since I'm using this for the carrots, I thought I would just do this with the purple cabbage as well. And I definitely don't want to lose any um, pieces of my finger, so I'm gonna stop where it gets close. I've done it before and it was not pretty. So I have to watch where your fingers are, especially when there are sharp objects around. Now, so I have cabbage, I have carrots, cilantro, and then there's one vegetable that you may or may not have used before, and it is called kohlrabi. You know what? I'm also going to use the grater for that. Kohlrabi is this really cool looking plant. It's like a bulb and then it has all the, um, stems and leaves that come out but really it's the bulb that we eat and i'm going to keep the skin on because it's nice and purple and it's pretty and it kind of tastes like jicama it has that um crunchy taste to it it's delicious i was uh, i made it in my tempeh stir fry yesterday just chop it into cubes so you can use it in different ways sometimes it shows up in the markets and you just don't know what to do with it so this is one of the things you can do is to add it to your salad. So I'm gonna probably do half of that. And I have a nice big pile of vegetables ready for a salad bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna move this aside while I chop the cilantro. And if you don't like cilantro, some people don't. Some people, for them, it tastes like soap. Maybe I've talked about this, but it's actually a genetic trade. If you think cilantro tastes like soap, it is not you, it is your genes, and that's totally okay. But you can use basil in here, you can use mint or parsley, or you can omit it all together. So really, this is a salad that's for you. We're gonna put that aside, and let's see what's in here. That's a combination of kohlrabi, carrots, and cabbage. Okay, now for the noodles. Take it out, 
of the water, of this warm water, so it's a little softer. I'm actually gonna chop this too. See how crunchy that is? Yeah, because it's actually, like I said, it's a sea vegetable. Now, here comes the fun part, is we combine everything in a big bowl. And it's nice and pretty because of all the colors. You can even add tomatoes to it for the red or bell peppers. And then we have the shrimp, right? Which is that nice pink color. So here's our shrimp, nice and cooked, right? All nice and pink. I'm gonna put that in there. And then really, it's a little bit of a cheat, right? But why not? We're gonna use the Thai peanut sauce, which is a marinade and a dipping and a dressing. The, the, the change that I'm gonna do is add some fresh lime juice in there. And clearly, I can't open the thing. There you go. So this part is really sort of up to you. The more, if you like the dipping sauce or this dressing sauce, you can use more of it. I'm just gonna use maybe about two tablespoons there because I really want more of this lime in here. And I will start with one lime. Just really make sure I squeeze all the juice out there in there. And then let's do one more. If you don't like shrimp, of course, you do not use the shrimp. You can use tofu instead, um, maybe chicken if you like that or if you have that. Or you know, it can just be like a side dish that doesn't have any, any meat or protein or tofu, just kind of like a little vegetable side. So the last thing we do is mix. Let's just get the noodles really well combined with all the vegetables and the sauce. And then you, you know, have to taste along the way and adjust as you go. Let's do a little taste. I'm gonna grab a shrimp and then everything else. Mmm. The shrimp is the bomb. Noodles, crunchy. It's almost perfection.